Welcome to the House Doctor. Today I'm going to show you how this little white square can make your house warmer. If you've never replaced a weather stripping in your house, I can almost guarantee you it's installed improperly. I'm going to show you the right way to do it. Here's one of the problems with this foam insulation being installed improperly. You'll see that both pieces of this were cut at a 90 degree angle and we have a gap here. So when the door pushes up against it to close it, you're going to have air leakage in the corner. Another problem is down here at the corner by the threshold. You can see the weather strippings cut at 90 degrees and just kind of jammed in there. It's all bunched up. That's also going to prevent you from getting a good seal. Another problem you might have with your weather stripping is it has paint on it from the previous homeowner because I know somebody like you would never paint their weather stripping. These little problems don't seem like a big deal, but they're definitely going to cause drafts. A little tiny draft in all four corners of your door is going to make your room very uncomfortable and you're wasting money. Luckily, these things are easy to fix with a few simple tools that you probably have laying around. I'm working on an exterior door that goes into a walk-in attic. It's not really any different from an exterior door that's on the front of your house or in the back of your house. The weather stripping's pretty much the same on all of them. If your weather stripping isn't all gobbed up with paint, it should come right out. If you do have paint between the wood and the weather stripping, you might want to grab an old putty knife. Um, this is one that I took and rounded the corners over. It just keeps it from digging into things when you're using it to scrape. You would just run it down between the weather stripping and the wood to break loose any paint. To take this out, you should be able to just grab a hold of it and pull it out. It'd be a little tough to get started, but once you get going, it just comes right out. If you have trouble getting a hold of it, you can grab it with a pair of pliers and just pull it out. You can pick this weather stripping up at pretty much any hardware store or home center. It's really inexpensive if you don't feel like doing that. I was shocked to find out you could order it online and have it delivered to your house for basically the same price. You're going to need three pieces of this. I'm switching out to white. It doesn't matter which color it is, but I think it's going to give it a more finished look. It's little touches like that that really make a difference around your house. I like to start on the side and just kind of tuck it in and slide it down. I'm not putting the whole thing in right now. What you want to do is just notch out the bottom of your weather stripping. Just cut a little bit off like this just so it goes around this little threshold here. I'm just using a pair of scissors to cut this. I had to trim the notch a little bit more but this is what I needed to do to get a good fit and you'll notice that I cut an angle back here that's because there's some caulk deep inside the groove and I wasn't able to slide it all the way down so just take your time trim a little bit at a time until you can get a nice good fit and this is what you're looking for all right, it's touching all the way around and it's not bunched up and pinched like it was before and then just work your way up to the top sliding it in as you go as you get closer to the top you want to just trim a little bit off at straight across at a 90 degree angle see here because of the way the wood is this groove doesn't go all the way up um, but the groove on here goes all the way across this might be different on yours depending on the way they installed the door stop so I'm just going to notch the back of the weather stripping so it'll go into the groove and still go all the way to the top Once you have your weather stripping installed on both sides, you want to do the top. For now, just rough cut it to length, so it's the full length. Once you cut it to length, you need to notch the end of it like this, where it goes into the door stop, and I'll show you why in a second. This is why we need to notch the corner of it, because the groove isn't fully exposed. If I just take this weather stripping and push it out of the way and jam it in, it's going to make a mess and I'll have bunched up corners again. So you notch that out so when you slide it in the piece is going to go all the way over and it's not going to bunch it up. But we're still not ready to put this in yet. Imagine if you will this is our side weather stripping that we've already installed and here's the top piece that we cut. If we just put it in like this and we have a harsh overlap here 
and when the door closes against it we're going to have the potential for a draft. So what we want to do is trim this at an angle and take your time here, take off a little bit at a time until you get what you think is going to give you the best seal. You're looking for something about like this so you don't have a harsh overlap and when the door closes you have a much better chance of getting a tight seal here. Just need to do the same thing at the other end. I took my time, made my cuts in the corners, put the top piece in, now I have a good seal all the way around. If you made it this far in the video you're saying, wait a minute, where's that square thing you showed? Door corner seals are the final step in your weather stripping job. This is what's going to make all the difference in the world in how much of a draft you stop. You definitely need to put these in. You'll notice when you look at the side of these, you have a thin edge and it gets a little fatter and then you have a thick edge. The thin edge is going to go towards the door and this fat part is going to tuck behind your weather stripping. This is the little bit that goes the long way. We're just going to take these little squares and stick them behind our weather stripping only at the bottom. Once you trim it so it's going to fit your threshold pretty well, you're going to want to take the backing off the sticker on the back. This stuff is really, really sticky, so you only get one shot at this. One on the other side and that'll wrap it up. Replacing your weather stripping is an inexpensive, fairly easy project. All you have to do is take your time, pay attention to those corners. Your house is going to be much more comfortable and you're going to save a couple of bucks on your heating and cooling bills. I hope you take a minute to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Then whenever I put out more home improvement tips like this, you'll get notified. They'll come right to your inbox. Thanks for watching.